thunderous ovation for the Viper. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with 2015 Battleground Live Reactions and the first match on the show, as predicted by both of us, I believe, Randy Orton versus Sheamus. Literally nothing on the line in this match other than pride, which is why I think Randy Orton's going to win. I think it's very smart, guys, for uh, WWE to uh, open with this match for Battleground tonight, considering that this is taking place in Randy Orton's hometown of St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, I have picked Sheamus to win this matchup, but this is the matchup I waffled on the most. I think out of every other match. See, and the match that I waffled on the most was PTP New Day. But I think you ended up going with me about Titus beating Kofi. And yeah. Prime numbers yeah. retaining, right? Yes. Which is hilarious because we both picked New Day in our freaking predictions last night. We, we lie a lot, people. <laughs> they, they aren't. It's not lying. We just change our minds a lot. Yeah, we should always put an asterisk by our preview predictions videos. Not uh, final. <laughs> yeah, c c we should we should just pull it up and be like cards subject to change. <laughs> predictions subject to change. Yeah. Actually, not even predict, just minds subject to change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be the truest uh, thing we've ever said. But you know, credit to our our comment base that like when they hear these. They never go, but you guys said in preview predictions, you said that, like, I, I think they're very understanding how flexible we are, and I can't yeah. tell you how they plan for that. Yeah. And my thing is, when we're making preview and predictions, I go out of my way to come up with kind of more creative outlets and, and try and figure out what all the possible ways the WWE could go are. And I usually end up just going with the one that I like the most. Whereas with preview and predictions, I think, okay, what is the most vanilla, boring thing that could possibly happen? And that's what WWE is going to do, so I'm going to predict that. You know, Ashton, I hate to be that guy, but I have to imagine a lot of pressure is on these guys right now. We know historically they haven't always had the best of matches. And I'm not just saying that personally. I mean, you talk about crowd reaction. They haven't always received these matches well. You're Dude, this is a freaking packed house. Look at how freaking full this freaking arena is. Freaking. Exactly. They have a huge audience. It's Orton's hometown. And traditionally, I mean, the opening match serves one vital function. It gets the crowd moving. It gets them hyped up. It gets them into the show early. So these guys who historically have had not really very compelling matches, not to say atrocious, now have the burden no, on their the shoulders. No, that's the thing with these guys is they never put on a bad match, but the crowd always shits on it because they're never exciting matches. Right. But could this be the exception simply because they have a hometown hero to support in Randy Orton? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, we just had a pretty unanimous you look stupid chant for Sheamus. Right. Love the psychology and the early going of Sheamus working over the arm of Orton, potentially weakening it for the RKO. Yeah, that little arm trap that he had Orton in was almost a little bit reminiscent of Jesse McKay when we saw her in NXT. Yeah. Now, these guys, I mean, I think it's kind of a feeling each other out sort of process in the opening minutes of this contest. And now, nice side headlock there. Headlock City! Da, 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 da. Headlock City! <laughs> ba, ba, da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> You're seriously using your voice when you have two functional hands? I will use my hands when it's appropriate, because I'm, I'm suspecting a suplex city chant will occur tonight. So. For a Lesnar, of course. Yes. The originator of the chant. I still kind of wish that this match was like a no DQ sort of stipulation or something. That would make it so much more entertaining and interesting. Because I feel like Sheamus is naturally... Like, I feel like this and the Lesnar-Rollins match would make both those matches more interesting if they had no DQ stipulations. See, I can forgive Lesnar-Rollins not having one because... You know that Rollins is a heel. He'd probably almost find some relief in that, whereas, yeah, like, Lesnar is a human help. weapon. But you, exactly. you can't, I mean, Rollins isn't really going to have that much help, considering one of his employees has a broken arm and the other one has a broken ankle. Exactly, and Joey Mercury, I think, had contusions of his own after being suplexed on the hood of the car. Yeah. So, nobody's helping Rollins tonight. Right. Well, you know, except maybe one, uh... Um, omnipotent power in The Undertaker. But I thought you were going to say ominous. <laughs> ominous and omnipotent power of The Undertaker, which that remains to be seen. I mean, he really is the wild card now in the main event of Battleground tonight. Yeah. And that's seen... another question, too, is we don't even know for sure if it's going to be the main event. I mean, that's true, right? I mean, but it's you... highly speculated that it will be the main event, and I think Falcon Arrow said that it would be the main event, too, but I don't know, man. I don't know who to trust anymore. 
I, I can't really trust anyone anymore, with the exception of you, of course. I'll always trust you. Wait, These well, are, uh, we're just a couple of Stone Cold Steve Austin wannabes not trusting anyone. I know, right? Hey, um, is oh, yeah, the crowd is into something? it, dude. The crowd is cheering Orton, big time. Yeah, definitely. That's good to see. And Orton, I think, is going to win this uppercut exchange. I mean, yeah, he's I... been throwing Europeans for years. Yeah, as much as I love both guys, though, it makes me really want to see Cesaro on this card tonight. Oh, my. Though there was a rumor that he was going to have a match with Rusev tonight, so we'll see if that occurs. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be a good excuse for him to not interfere in the Owen Cena match, too. That's true, because, I mean, Lord knows Rusev will put a hurting on anybody. I actually meant Cesaro, not Rusev. Well, yeah, I think that is. What oh, you oh I see what you were saying. Yeah, yeah. It took yeah. a while to kind of process what exactly you were referring to. <sighs> Rusev preventing Cesaro from having any kind of interference. Yeah, exactly. Like Just being so be down like, eh, Kevin looks like he's going to win the title. But I'm just really hurting over here. Let him have it. <laughs> yeah, Kevin looks like he's going to win the title. I, I think I'll have an easier time beating him than Cena anyway. <laughs> it's like, I'll take care of his bitch ass at SummerSlam. Yeah, he's been pinned before. Oh, man. He's only lost two matches in his entire WWE career, though, that have been actually, you know, televised or on the network. And I gotta give... Yes, Seamus, I am entertained. Thank you. He's so wonderful and so I think you need to things. add some more braids, but to the mustache. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... But I, th I think, you know, staying on the subject of Cesaro, because I, I actually really do believe that we're going to get Rusev versus Cesaro on this card tonight. I got to give commentary credit on SmackDown for the Cesaro-Rusev matchup. Can I please just point out that the New Day has literally changed the fans' diction on chants? Oh, what? Oh, you mean like where, the, where like maybe they would be more paced like with other people, but with New Day it's more slowed down like New Day rocks. Like, that no, literally sense. everything, everything now. Like, we didn't, it, it's not RKO anymore, it's R. KO! Hey, that should tell you the significance the New Day has had on the WWE Universe, if nothing how else. How ridiculous is that, though? You pretty much changed their psychology of how they approach supporting people or opposing people. That's I wonder if that's going to reach anywhere past WWE. Because, like, if this coming NFL season we get random, like, at Lanta! At Lanta! <laughs> like, I'm, I think I might die. I love the New Day, though. I don't even know if I'd mind it that much, just knowing the original source. That's what I mean, though, because, like, when you have mainstream reach like that, Vince loves you. Yeah, that could be great for the New Day. Another knee drop? Really, Seamus? We literally just saw that. Really working over that sternum. <laughs> sternum. Goes, Everyone's <laughs> favorite weakness. <laughs> it goes right back to the rest hold. And this is why people get bored in these matches. Is Orton drooling? Maybe. It looked like Orton was drooling. Can Orton Just like a big slobber drop coming out of his mouth. I like how Seamus doesn't even give Orton the opportunity to regain that vertical base. He just knees him around the guy before he can even get to one knee. Yeah, but his Seamus is close. super aggressive. Definitely. And that aggression just cost him. Now the referee begins the count. We're at three here. As we see here, the replay, Orton uh, able to use Sheamus' own momentum against him there. Yeah. Like I said, that uh, aggression got used against Sheamus. He was over-aggressive that time, and Orton took advantage, made him pay. And now we're just going to get an on-the-knees slugfest. You already lost the uppercut battle. I'm not really picking you for the slugfest either. The crowd is really into Orton, though. I think that's hilarious. I will say again, maybe WWE had that confidence that Orton is just so over in his own hometown as a baby face that that's going to really carry the momentum of this matchup. Uh, St. Louis loves Randy Orton more than they love the Rams. <laughs> and the really sad thing is, if you're a St. Louis Rams fan, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Seriously, the there. Rams are so underappreciated. <laughs> Some of the least passionate fans I've ever seen. Oh, wow, God. that was Shame actually the really cool. Zone. The fake out, that was great. I love when Orton does like phantom moves like that. Like he goes for something that he misses, and uh, it's just so cool. Shame is sent to the outside here, though. I want to see one of these guys do a suicide dive. <laughs> Oh, God, can you imagine Seamus, a man of his size, doing a move like that? Uh, could you imagine Orton with his freaking slow, methodical pace whipping out a suicide dive? 
Yeah, it would definitely send a jolt through my system. And oh, look at Orton here. Yeah. Back suplex on the announce table. There's Already, no bell first to match ring. of the night. First match of the night. And they're trying to break the Spanish announce or the regular announce table even. The English announce table. Oh man. Like I said, that whole table spot just reminds me of when he did it to Brian and he looked at that fan and he's like, You kidding me? The oh, that was such an amazing thing. Ring the bell! Ring the bell! There's no bell to ring! <laughs> Orton going for the cover here to the power slam, and Sheamus kicks out. It's no DQ! And then he grabs freaking Brian like he's going to do it to him, and he goes, this is on you! And then he puts Brian through the table. <laughs> uh, I love Randy Orton, dude. I, I just love unhinged, I don't give a shit about anything level Randy Orton. He, he would be so much better as a lunatic fringe than Dean Ambrose is right now. I know, right? And now look at this. Uh, Shame's going to try and stuff the rope hung DDT here. Just let him show up, not give a shit, and leave. Oh, is it going to be? Yep. I was even going to bring this earlier when we were talking about Orton doing a suicide dive. Sheamus already does the bat the, the over-the-top rope battering ram. Right. So Sheamus already does something at least sort of similar to a suicide dive, so it wouldn't be as jolting to see him do it as it would be to see Orton do it. I guess that's a fair point. A steamroller there by Sheamus. Yeah. He's, he's already tried for the bro keg once, but he's not going to try it here. Power slam instead. Kind of weird. That was a s weird slam. Why? Because when I think really power slam, I think what Orton does when somebody's coming off the ropes. Right. And that wasn't the same thing. So what do you even call that? Was that like a modified scoop slam? I think you would call it almost like a, like a tilt-a-whirl kind of slam. Because he kind of, you know, rotated Orton around and like powered him down. But uh, Orton is yet to attempt the RKO. Sheamus now for the second time going to attempt the Brogue Kick. Oh, this is where I feel like it's going to be the RKO counter for the loss for Sheamus. Why are uh, you copying Batista? Because he can. Batista doesn't work here anymore. Duck. RKO. Oh, countered. Oh, no. Is he going to get the Cloverleaf? He wants it. Is he going to get the Cloverleaf? No, Orton's Looks fighting like out of it. fighting out. Shots to the and head there. away. Now I think we're going to get an RKO. No! No, no, white noise! White noise. Got to get his shit in. Beautiful. Sheamus Hooks the leg in deep, and Orton still kicks out. Oh, man. Sheamus' mohawk is starting to come undone. I feel so bad for him. <laughs> I remember I commented once when it seemed like the mohawk was starting to droop and he was beating his chest, sending him for the bro kick. I'm like, the rooster's running out of power! It's now or never! <laughs> Did you know that he has a freaking nose ring, too? No, I just noticed that tonight, actually. Yeah, I wonder if that's new or if he's had it and he just hasn't worn it yet. Because that definitely adds to the look, I think. He should actually kind of pull it out a little bit more to make it more prominent. Or just get a bigger one. Make him look like a freaking stereotypical bull that a matador would fight. Oh, God, I hate when Orton's all, like, loopy like this, because that's when he usually hits the RKO out of nowhere. Just have Sheamus freaking squash El Torito. Yeah, right? Nice. Orton's feeling it now. Orton's feeling oh, yeah. it now. Exploder. Is... Yeah. Exploder T-Bone. Exploder suplex. I guess now the T-Bone gonna... is like an overreach rather than the under the leg reach. Right. I'm still learning, guys. Oh, man. I'm trying so hard to learn all these random different move types. I'm still not quite sure what a side toe suplex is, but I'm pretty sure I see him at least once a month. <laughs> That's why I think we work so well together, because I, I know quite a few moves, but but there are times like you'll even like catch me and be like, no, it's this, and then I'm like, oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Now the battling in the corner. I will say this match is going on a little bit longer than I thought it would, admittedly. Well, um, what did you think it was going to go on for freaking ten minutes? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Problem. <laughs> I mean, I yeah, I mean, I probably would have said fifteen, so I don't think you're too far off there. Oh, see, this is going to be the RKO spot right here. Yes, it is. Either that or Superplex. Sheamus, well, yeah, it's probably going to be a Superplex. Yeah, yeah. Superplex. <laughs> Dang it, Orton, you should have waited. You could have hit him with a super stylish RKO and gotten 5,000 flashpoints. <laughs> Can you even do anything with flashpoints in the WWE? 
I don't even know what flashpoints are. I made them up on the spot. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. But man. they're points for being flashy. If only they could exactly get exactly what a top rope RKO would have been. If only they can get you world title matches, we would have gotten Orton Lesnar five by now. Yeah. I got WrestleMania. Especially after that cheerleader split. Yeah, I mean that WrestleMania 31 RKO would oh, have gotten yeah. him like four guaranteed title shots right off the bat. I guess the I guess flash points are are basically just style points. Yeah. And I just couldn't think of that word. That happens more than I'd like to admit. <laughs> We all have our problems, my friend. We all have our problems. Oh, my God. You just went through puberty. I sure did. Orton now, Sheamus getting him into the DDT. Michael, Sheamus is not going to reverse. Definitely not. Uh, Orton's really taking his time, and there it is. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because when they reverse it, they reverse it almost right away, usually. Exactly. They don't just kind of hang there and wait for Orton to do his shit. <laughs> We're just like, he's done! He's done! I can do what I want! Oh, this is starting to feel a lot like a Seamus win to me. God, I hope so. Randy man, is I... hyping the crowd up way too much. Seamus is just laying there, Orton. This is very suspicious. Dude, do you know how great of a feeling it would be for me that I waffled so much and I ended up siding with Seamus in the end? Oh, I don't know. Oh, look, Brock Lesnar guy's there. I, I actually went back recently and I watched his whole uh, mannerisms for the uh, for the Lesnar entrance. Grab the tights! Oh, two. Oh, damn, two count. Oh, the Brogue, that's it. No, oh, no, no, he's down and out, he's down and out, he's not capitalizing, Orton's rolling out. Yes! This damn. means Orton still has a chance! Damn. I was really counting on the Brogue to do it, too. Now nah, Orton's winning. God damn it. Oh, don't count, dude. We've s switched back and forth so many times in this match. I know, but when they usually do something like that, Orton is yet to hit the RKO. You know he's going to get that shit in. But what if Sheamus kicks out of the RKO? That's not happening. <laughs> oh, it looks uh, like Sheamus might want a cloverleaf here. Kicked him in the gut. And yeah, he, no. Is he going to go for a crab? Catapult? No, he is going for the cloverleaf. Yeah, Orton's cool. fighting it out of it, though. Again, no! Right. There it is. Oh, wow, he's got it locked in hard, too. Randy's right on his neck. That's not a good You better not me. tap, Randy. He's not going to tap. He's gonna Randy is a freaking tapper, man. He's as much of a tapper as Jericho. <laughs> good. At least he got off his neck. That means he's got a chance. Now he's just on the crown of his head. <laughs> She's like, such discomfort must reach ropes. And... and oh, 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 come on, really? Wow. Oh, God, he's pulling him away. Orton, you're going to have to reverse it or you're screwed. Uh -oh. Don't you dare tap, Randy. In his own hometown, how embarrassing would that be? I know. Grab his foot. It's right there, dude. Reach over with your left arm and grab his foot. New uh, Modern excellence of execution, my ass. Oh, reach. There you go. Reach. Yes. Finally. Seamus, whatever you're thinking, RKO's going to happen. Is Seamus going to go for a... There it a, is. Oh, there it is, RKO. And cover. Come on, she, RK, Randy Orton. Cover, 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 two, cover. Good, one, three. two, three. Yeah! The curse of money in the bank continues. Yep. I can't believe you thought it would get broken. Disappointing, but expected. <laughs> I don't know why you're disappointed. I'm happy. Well, I mean, I'm disappointed because I, I made the personal pick, obviously. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I'm actually glad that Orton got a win under his belt. He needed one. But Especially in his hometown. That's cool. This just leads to the intrigue. I mean, Orton actually gave an interview. Like, he's excited to work with all the NXT prospects. Like, he wants to work with Owens. He wants to work with Neville. He wants to work with Balor. So. I'm going to tell you straight up right now, dude, I'm actually undefeated so far. I've gotten every single guess that's been available to guess so far correct. Nice. Yeah. I think it's I'm up to like five points or something like that. And there you see again the RKO reversal there. And I, I think this is Seamus' first attempt at the Cloverleaf. Yeah, and Orton kicked him out of it. 
Yeah. Then another RKO attempt. I thought Sheamus was going to grab the tights here and potentially get the win, but... I, yeah, I thought the same thing. And then the Brogue, but they both landed on their backs and couldn't capitalize. Oh, man. That was a decent match. That was probably the best match I've ever seen those two guys having against each other. Yeah, I would agree with that, especially the final few minutes. I feel like they were really well done. And the fact that Orton won is just cherry on the cake. Right. Cherry on the Sunday, icing on the cake. I am mixing up my metaphors and analogies. Well, we all know what you meant, and that's really all that matters. Yeah, yeah, your, your face knows what I meant. But anyway, guys, we're going to close it out here. That was a fun match. Orton defeats Sheamus with an RKO, and that was a really long match, actually, about 20 minutes. Wow. So we're going to close it out here, and we will see what happens next.